Can you tell me a bit about how you landed this role? I always think of three things when I look for, uh, take on a new role. First, um, how can I work towards my mission? And second, uh, how can I contribute the most? And third, where could I be most happy being professional and being a mom? So this first thing about vision mission, it resonated with me so much. Uh, my personal mission is to work towards elevating women's status in Japan and in a Asia. I also uh, you know, th think the value of the company is so important. The LinkedIn's value based on respect and trust also made me realize you know, being able to work professionally and also being a happy mom. And where can I contribute the most is that Japan being the third largest economy uh, is an important market for LinkedIn as well. And you know, the Prime Minister Kishida just announced a labor market reform based on two things, reskilling and talent mobility, and both of which LinkedIn Japan can help a lot. So um, we really love to um, you know, respond to the needs of Japanese companies and professionals, um, both on hiring and learning, uh, reskilling end as well. I want to talk now to one of the hottest topics across industries, artificial intelligence. Okay. It's no surprise that LinkedIn, a Microsoft-owned company, is focusing its efforts on generative AI. Right. At LinkedIn, you have new features yes. where you can write recruiter messages, better profiles, mm -hmm. better job descriptions using this technology. How do you think AI will change the way we find a job in the future? We already in, you know, incorporated machine learning translation for our LinkedIn learning online courses. So among uh, 20,000 courses on, uh, globally, now 10,000 are available in Japanese, which is the biggest library for any content providers in Japan. So we are very uh, proud and very excited about this uh, feature. Also, the ChatGPT we have incorporated the chat GPT to help companies write the job descriptions and help the users to polish their profiles and write a message to hiring teams, for example. So it's becoming very helpful for more users. So at last check, LinkedIn has about 900 million members worldwide. Mm -hmm. Japan, at the moment, accounts for about 3 million of correct, that. Correct. Obviously, you have a lot of competitors in this space domestically. You have mm -hmm. BizReach, Wantedly, Facebook mm -hmm. for networking, mm -hmm. even Recruit, of course, the giant. Right. How will you compete against them? Many Japanese companies used to have lifetime employment. And with the Kishida government's uh, push for the labor market reform, now companies are shifting towards job-based you know, skills, skill-based hiring and reskilling focus both of which LinkedIn Japan uh, is very, uh, we are very proud to you know, support that. So I think that gives us a big strength. Japan consistently ranks at the bottom when we're talking about the World Economic Forum Global Gender Gap Report. Right. In 2022, Japan ranked 116th out of 146 countries, by far the lowest out of G7 countries. So what is the one thing you think that Japan needs to do to close this gender gap? There's no longer a one-size-fits-all policy for workplaces. Uh, many people, we just did a uh, research last month um, on Japanese people, and uh, compared to 20 years ago, m across the generations, people value families the most important, not work. And 20 years ago, it used to be work. So the people's mindset have shifted, the values have shifted. Now companies also need to adapt to their you know, employees' value. So they need to provide more flexible ways of working.